example, misophonia literally translates to hatred of sound. I can see sadness caressing their faces dearly as it envelops them into a bone crushing hug. Your scars are your medal, wear them with pride. I don't know, love is light. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Each soho, for there is a blessing in this scroll. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. You are all welcome back to Black Girls TV NG. I am a good mom with Salisu. If you are a returning subscriber, hi, I see you there. Thank you so much for the support. And if this is your first time on my channel, you're welcome. I'm glad to have you. Please subscribe before you leave. And let me tell you a little bit of secret. If you want to be the first person to get notified whenever I post a new video, do click on that um, little bell close to the subscribe button. That way you will be the first person to get notified when a new video is being uploaded. Okay, I am so excited. This is a casual and uh, emergency video, I would call it. I was editing and then I realized I lost a clip and it's a very important one that I need to like give the introduction and the conclusion before everything. So I had to shoot it. I had to film it again. This is, that's why it's all okay let's just go in um straight into the business i happened to give a TED talk late 2018 i think i was in third year then well i can't remember the year you know yeah i happened to give a TED talk late 2018 and guess what you guys like i gave that TED talk it was a really inspiring uh experience for me not just inspiring but it was encouraging and it was amazing so what happened was I found this poster that was going to be a TED talk in our school and I'm like, oh my god, I am a big fan of TED talks. Like, this is what I do. I'm always on YouTube then and especially then, I was always listening to one TED talk or the other because I love, you know, getting ideas from other people. I love it when people share their ideas, their knowledge, their wisdoms, and just like this, they inspire me. So I was like, oh my god, I will be, like, I have the opportunity to be in a TED talk to listen to one like live i'm not going to let this slide so i called the number when i called them they told me okay are you going to participate or do you want to have do you want to secure a ticket i'm like wait i can participate really i was so excited i said okay when because i think the event was almost in a week's time so i'm like but i need so much time to to get prepared i don't have anything on ground they're like, don't worry, you'll be fine. We have like a team for rehearsal. You can come. We can rehearse together. We can help you put things through. I'm like, oh my God. I'm definitely jumping on this opportunity, you guys. So I went there. They were the most, like, they are one of the most amazing people I've ever met because they were, the tech team were supportive. They were encouraging. They were inspiring. They are above all amazing. So <laughs> I'm so excited. Like the feeling is just coming back to me right now. It's like I'm reliving that moment because it was exhilarating when I found out. So I think it, everything is just coming back to me right now. So when we went the, the day of the event, it was 3rd November, I don't think 2018. Yeah, 3rd November 2018. I can still remember the date. So I was freaking out. Like I was totally nervous. But there was this sweet girl, she happened to be one of the participants also. She was like, Rooks, you need to calm down, okay? You can do this, you've got this, we've rehearsed this over and over, like, you can do it. She said, okay, if you feel too nervous, why don't we, because they are still setting up the stage when we went. She said, why don't you just go up there and I will be your audience, I will listen to you with all them. Just ignore everybody, like, doing what they're doing, just do your own thing. I said, okay, I went up to the stage, I gave it, and it was like, it felt, it felt okay. I said, okay, your turn, because she looked totally nervous too. She don't want to tell me she's nervous because I'll get more nervous. So she went up there and she was amazing as well. So she like helped me through that and I'm really grateful for that. I really do appreciate that. That event was an event that like it changed my life in like it changed a perspective of how I see life from an angle. Like it was really an event worth 
going to it is an event worth being there and participating as well i'm really grateful for that i hope you guys enjoy it i'll just leave you to enjoy the the talks and then later on i'll be back yeah. hello how do you, what do you have to say for me i'm so worried i'm actually panic seriously it's going to be okay <laughs> inshallah yeah it will inshallah and you well kind of nervous a little yeah, bit later. inshallah we will do Experience with you when I first came here. You know, moving to the new environment, you have to do with a whole of new expectations from different people and different cultures. I was having a hard time adjusting to the new environment. A fateful day, I came home from school with an empty stomach, tired and exhausted. My two other women meet from different nationalities. Somali and Somalia and Philippines, whom I have found have prepared dinner. So they asked me to join them. I declined without hesitation. They insisted a lot. They were really kind people, so they couldn't withstand the burden of my absence at their table. So I had to give in. Now imagine yourself being presented with two meals that you have no clear picture of how it could taste. Tell me. If you were to be in my shoes, which of the plates would you have chosen? It was quite tasking for me to decide. So they came up with this brilliant idea that I should try both meals and whichever suits my taste, I'm welcome to have it. My first attempt was really amazing. And then the second meal was wow. That's a doubtful moment I've ever spent with my family back home. I felt as if I'm the most of my family. Now, the idea behind telling you this is that I was reluctant at first because they are from different nationalities and I was just seeing the differences be between us. But what they saw in me is just this human soul behind a human body that needed help and they offered it. You know, we're all the same from inside, right? We're all the same. It doesn't matter where you come from, what is your status, or what faith you practice. What matters is for you to understand and care. Have you ever noticed there's this huge gap between students in our classes? Have you? Why is it there? Why do we have gaps? Simply because of the vast nationalities in our classes? This will get one that we're all here for the same reason, all ready for one purpose. We're all here to achieve one goal. The moment we begin to open our eyes, widen our horizons, and then we tend to feel this sense of belonging, and then we get carried along all together. We share the same rights and during the day, the beautiful young moon at night, and we bring the same fish air. So tell me, how are we different? It is said that it is not our differences that divides us, rather our inability to recognize, embrace, and celebrate those differences. I heard a saying about, I heard a saying that when spiders unite, they can actually tear down a lion. We know spiders to be very weak animals and lion a very powerful animal. If these little creations, these weak creations, can unite to tie down a big, powerful lion, what if we humans unite ourselves? What can we tie down? Tell me. Very good. We are all here to be excellent to one another and to be at peace with one another. What comes to your mind when you hear the word diversity? What comes to your mind? Differences, different cultures, cut out skin. You know the difference, right? You're all right, but for me, it's the opposite. It's actually the opportunity and chance to understand and appreciate one another. We're all here to be excellent to one another. We are all different and we are all similar. We are more alike than different. 
which makes us all matter. If, this, if we were to be together, all the same in this world, then the world would have been a very boring place. But our differences are what makes the world beautiful and unique place. Thank you. just an event that we came to give talks there were some entertainment going on there was a there was art exhibition there was cultural display which i enjoyed so much if you know me you know that i am very big on art like i love art anything creativity anything art i'm a big fan so it was really amazing i loved it like we took pictures i had i went with my friends we took pictures and it was an amazing experience that I would never trade anything in the world for. I am grateful that I was there. I appreciate the fact that I happened to be there. But one thing that like, I kept wondering was why didn't they post those videos? Like they didn't share it on any other platform. So it was just that TEDx IUA we went, we gave the talks, but it was not shared by YouTube. And I felt like, no, I'm not going to keep this to myself. I need to share it with my YouTube fam. So this is it. You've seen my TED talk and you've heard it. And it was not just like, uh, it wasn't just to, to give the talk, but what you learned from the event. I wish I had other clips. Like I wish then when I gave the talk, I was on YouTube, you would have seen more of it. I would have taken it. I would have taken you guys along with me to enjoy that, uh, to enjoy that event, to be present in that event. But guess what? I'm hoping if there would be a next tech event in wherever I am, I would definitely take you guys with me. There was one when I was in when I was home for holiday, TEDx UK. It was in Kano. But I couldn't go there because I was like totally occupied. I was busy with my IT. I couldn't go there. So I'm just hoping that whenever there's a next TEDx, TEDx, oh my god, I didn't even get it tongue to tongue, what do you call it? Yeah, I can't pronounce the word. If I happen to be available, if I happen to be available and there's another TED event, I'm definitely jumping on that one. Even if I don't give the talk, I just want to be there, like to listen, like I want to experience that. I want to experience it all over again. Thank you. I hope you like this video. I hope you enjoy it as much as I am. And if you find this video worth sharing, please share it out with your friends, your family, every other person that you know. Please share it out. I do love the support. I appreciate it. Like, comment, subscribe. You know the drill. Thank you. Smash that subscribe button if you've not. And meet you in my next video. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.